Welcome, my name is Cassie. I hope you're having a good day or had a good day wherever you may be in this world. Today we are going to get through all of my primers. They're not all pictured. I have some over here, I have some over there, but I'm just trying to finagle a way to fit all of these in here. A lot of these I haven't used in forever. A lot of these I kind of just use them to get them out the way, but we are going to go through um, all of my primers. Also make sure that you are subscribed because it is free and we love free things. I upload twice a week, once on Wednesdays and once on Sundays, and it's not going to hurt you to hit the subscribe button. I promise. Alright, so we're going to get right into it and we're going to tackle the primers that are out of the photo. So this is one of them and this is the L'Oreal. Okay, so this is the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. This is really good for a drugstore smoothing primer. Um, it's really nice. It's actually pretty thick. Like when you open it and apply it, it is pretty thick. It's almost like a mousse texture, if you will. It is really nice. It feels really good on the skin as well as under the makeup. So for a drugstore primer, this is really good. Dr. Brent Pores No More. This honestly was a hype on YouTube, so I purchased it. It's not my favorite. I feel like it doesn't do the best job, and I have also have it for forever. Um, but yeah, it's not my favorite. Occasionally, I will wear it, but it's not my preferred primer. Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This again is a really good pore minimizing primer from the drugstore. Um, I don't use it all the time because I am in charge of Prestige, so it is just easier to go ahead and use all of my Prestige items. Sometimes I do use this on camera instead of using my more expensive stuff on camera. This is just the easiest. And yeah, if you're looking for a really good drugstore pore eraser primer, I got you. Urban Decay D Slick Complexion Primer. It is really, really good for pore minimizing, oil control, shine control, and mattifying. The only problem that I have with this is after I don't use it for a while, it literally just spits out like a super long stick of dried up product. Let's see if it'll do it. So like I said, if you don't use that primer for a while, this is what happens. The product dries up and it just comes out super hard. And for me, that's such a waste of product. That's like literally the amount that I would wear for underneath my foundation in a day. So that's a ton of product to me and it's just like hard dried up product. I mean, the average person doesn't have 55 primers like I do, but still, if someone's not using makeup every single day, this is wasted product. These primers are not cheap. MAC Primer is a skin refined zone. Every time I use this, my skin looks really, really good. I'm just not a huge fan of MAC. I don't use MAC all the time, but this is a pretty decent primer. The next primer that I have is the Benefit Pore Professional Matte Rescue Primer. This stuff smells like the Clinique Hello Happy Perfume, but this is a really good pore minimizing primer as well as a mattifying primer. So if you got pores and you got oil, this is the primer for you. This one isn't really a primer. It's more of just like a glow serum. So if you have dry skin, this would be really good for your dry skin underneath your foundation, but um, I'm going to throw this into my nighttime routine so that way I could be glowing a little bit or during the day instead of a primer because I never use it as a primer and this is from Kiko Milano. If you never tried the Italian brand, it's good. It's Makeup Forever Step 1 Base Smoothing Primer. This primer is really bomb. Um, I feel like Makeup Forever has kind of gone off the map a little bit but this used to be super popular that's not my only primer that i have from them i do have these two from them um a redness correcting which i'm honestly not even red so i don't know why i bought it and then a mattifying primer but this mattifying primer is a little bit too matte so it almost makes the makeup a little bit worse honeydew do me up i'm gonna try and use this a little bit more use it up and Maybe it'll be on a product empties. I am also going to take that out of my primers. And then this is the Kiko Matte Base Primer. I don't really use matte primers often. I'm more using like skin perfecting, pore mattifying, sorry, pore minimizing primers. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this or if I'm just going to try and get like use it up and then get rid of it. 
The next product that I honestly never use, I honestly think I'm just going to declutter it. Um, it's not my favorite. It's really greasy and I'm just going to get rid of it. This Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte. This is more of like a lotion than it is a primer. It's really just like skin perfecting, but it doesn't smooth. It doesn't anything. If you just want a base layer between your foundation and your skin, then I would recommend this. Like if you have perfect skin. <clears throat> Mia, if you're watching, the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Perfecting Primer. And this is really good for someone who has extremely oily skin, as well as somebody who has pores, because it's just going to tackle everything all in one step. But it can be a little bit too mattifying. It's a little bit too mattifying for me. And these two are the Pores No More Luminous Prize Primer. I've never used this one before. And then this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's not my favorite, but it's also not the worst smoothing primer. And this is the Clinique Pore Refining Solutions Instant Perfector. This one is actually pretty good from Clinique. And then this is the No Pore Bloom Prime Essence and the No Pore Bloom Primer. If you don't watch my videos, you wouldn't know that I use this in every single video. I'm almost out. And I did put both of these to the test in a comparison video or a versus video, whatever you want to call it. This is a shadow insurance from Too Faced. Eh, I don't really like primers like that. This is a sample of the putty from Tatcha. I don't think I've used it yet. This is the Benefit Professional Primer. I've been using this every single day. It's actually pretty good. It used to never be my favorite, but it's growing on me. And this is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base. This is pretty good as well, especially using with the other MAC primer that I have. And this isn't really a primer, but I have this in my primers because it is the Glam Glow. Glow Starter Mega Illuminate Illuminizing Illuminating Moisturizer and it's in the shade New Glow. This stuff smells like a Starburst. It smells so good and the reason why it's in my primer section of my collection is because when I went to the Jeffree Star and Lipstick Nick show makeup class, um, she used this on him as a primer and it, honestly his face looked so good. It's bomb. If you have dry skin or you're just needing a little bit of moisture in your skin, this Too Faced Hangover, R Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer is really good, but it does have coconut water in it, so if you're allergic to coconuts or nuts, and like that, I would definitely be careful just in case you never know. This isn't an oily or a greasy hydrating primer. It's just so hydrating and nourishing without the grease and the oil and the slickness. It's just really good. This is the Too Faced Peached. Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. I don't really feel the cooling sensation on this one. It does smell bomb. It's just as good as the foundation, but I do love the foundation a little bit more. This is a good mattifying primer. Anyways, that is the end of all of my primers. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Have you tried any of these? Please make sure that you are subscribed, and I'll see you in my next video. Baby girl, you got it, girl, you got it, girl. You got it, girl, you got it, girl. I don't wanna play no games, play no games. Fuck around, give my last name. No, you're tired of the same damn thing. That's how it could be, baby. You got it, girl, you got it. 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 You got it, gir